Hello everybody, Bodybud Sam here and welcome back to another video. Today is not really a tutorial, but it's an informational video. Technically the last one with pressure plates was too, but this one's going to be about the light radius, the radii, I feel bad for saying radiuses, uh, the light radii of basically every single object that emits light in Minecraft. So I hope you're excited and since we're doing lights, you know what that means. It has to be nighttime. I hope that was a cool special effect. If it wasn't, I will be kind of disappointed. So anyway, I'm going to get in first person, and we'll get right into this video. So as you can see over here, we have lights, and these chests have lights in them. And once again, this video is the second time I'm recording it because things happen with the audio issues and other issues and sometimes the second attempts are actually better than the first one so I hope that's that's it in this case like before I had a line running from here to here but I got rid of that for more accurate measurements of the light radii of all of the items so we're going to see all the items in this chest if you want to just see what they are there's some of them and there's the other ones and we're going to do these first because like the respawn anchors blow up if you tap them too many times so we're just we're gonna do it now also I have signs so we're gonna mark each place along this line with a sign on where the end of it goes so look at that did it produce light I think so uh did it actually yeah it produced like barely any light you can see so I'm actually going to put uh respawn anchor one because that's level one level two oh wow you can see it goes out much further we have to guess where the end of it is and I would say it touches let me see um because I want to do like the very tip I'd say it touches this block this block, uh, this one, this one right here. Okay, so such as there, we're gonna put res, res, respawn anchor two. Yep. Okay, I think that's correct. It looks correct. And now we're gonna put another one in. Okay. Well, let's go. So you can kind of see like where the point is. Like it's. It should be right here, the point, because you can see there's a little more light here. So we're going to put respawn anchor three. That's the four. That's also a four. Okay, so we're actually going to go through all these light sources, and we're going to see all, like, the how far the light reaches, how bright it is, and then you could use this to decide what kind of light sources you want in your house or what are the best for certain situations to maybe if you want really low lighting you can use certain ones for that okay and this is level four and I really don't want to tap that because it'll blow up and that would be really really annoying okay let's see where this one ends I see it comes to a point here and that block is this block I believe yes so we're going to put a sign, wait, right, e oh man, I'm second guessing myself already, that's not good, okay, so we're actually might be right here, so if I put it there and then zoom out, no, I'm going to put it back where it was, okay, well, we're just going to do this then. Respawn Anchor 4. So I do want to say before I go any further, and I'm actually going to break this so I don't blow it up. Okay, so these are not completely accurate measurements because you can see like sometimes it's a little hard to tell. But I can say that they are really, really close because I'm they're like maybe a one block difference from what the actual thing is if I even get it wrong. So we're just going to put the Respawn Anchor in there and put the Glowstone down and see how far that reaches. That appears to reach the same spot as the respawn anchor. So we're going to put glowstone. And that's cool. Okay, now we put that away. 
and now we're going to grab a bunch of items out of here. I'm going to move my signs here. Okay, let's get them all. There's a lot in here. There's there's a lot in here. Okay. Oh, okay, we'll start with flint and steel. And flint and steel and fire charge are the same. They both produce fire. So it's basically just what a fire flame is. Please don't burn anything. Um, it appears to go to the same place, maybe... Maybe it barely touches that. Yeah, okay. It goes to the same place. Now, please don't burn anything. I don't know if it can, but I'm not going to risk it. We're going to put fire, and that's fire. We're going to put a torch. See how far a torch goes. Now, you can see a torch actually appears to go uh, less far, so shorter. So maybe like right... Which block do you think it touches... I'm going to say it's, let's see, which block is this? I'm going to say it touches this one. And again, this is not perfect, but it's really close. And it will hopefully help. A soul torch. A lot less light than a normal torch. So we're going to say that it ends up at the very point, which is this block right here. So we're going to put soul torch there. Did I spell soul right? Yeah, okay. It just looked weird for some reason. Why do I do that? Oh, uh, why do I do these things? Okay, and now I need to replace the gold block. Okay, the thing about sea pickles is that you have to have water for them to make light, so we're gonna put a piece of water there. That's why the trap doors are there. Very useful. So a sea pickle. Uh, put one in, it does produce light. And we're going to put a sign right here, here, here. This is the hardest part. I'm just gonna put it here, just to, to be safe, I guess. So we're gonna do sea pickle one because that's it's only one of them and then when you put two of them it goes up further and we're just going to do this until all four levels because there are four four levels until all four levels are placed And that's it for the sea pickles. Okay, we're just going to put these away for now. Do I need the water? No, I don't think I do. Okay, lanterns. Normal lantern. Appears to be up by all these things. So we're going to put that here. So I do want to say that I think where all these signs are located, this light level is the max light level of anything. Oh my goodness, I broke it again. I broke the grounds. I always do this. I always do this. Why do I do this? Okay, so yeah, a lot of them, the max level is up where all those signs are. And a lot of them have max level. Okay, that was an accident. Let us see where this goes. Okay, so this, I think, goes up here with whatever this is. So this is a soul lantern. So both the soul torch and soul lantern have less light than the normal versions of those two items. And while we're at it, there is one thing I forgot and I'm now realizing I forgot it. So I'm going to grab a gold block and I'm going to grab a flint and steel and I'm going to grab a piece of soul sand or soul soil or whatever makes the blue flame because I never actually tested that in the previous attempt. See? Second attempts are sometimes really good, and this one is actually less than the other fire, so I'm, I'm really happy I did this. Okay, let's see. I'd say it ends, looking at where the triangle ends, I'd say it ends up here, like maybe here, next to the sea pickle three. So we'll do soul fire. I don't know if that's exactly what's called. 
but I'm just gonna assume it is, and I really hope that's, that's where it's going. Okay, so now we can get rid of that and put our nice gold block back. And now on to the three furnaces. And instead of wasting time like I did last time, I'm just gonna say that all of these have the same light level. So I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time getting a bunch of items to put in these because it will not be worth it. I do need something to actually put in these though. Okay, so let's see the light level of a furnace or a blast furnace or a smoker is all the same. It appears to be on a new level, maybe? Yes, believe so. A new level. So we will do furnace blast and smoker. I don't know why it puts the dash, but it does. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that, pick up our stuff, and throw it away, because we don't need it. And I'm just gonna keep putting some of the stuff back in here to stay organized. And I actually have to fill up my bar again, so here we go. Okay, so you got a bunch of new things. You have an enchantment table. That's pretty bright, okay. Let's see where that ends. That ends... Where did I put that sign? I need to get rid of it. Okay, that, that was weird. We're going to get rid of that. Um, let's see. It goes up to... Let's say... Here. Maybe. It's, again, it's hard to see. Um, but, like, that's kind of where it makes the triangle. Right here next to the sea pickle and whatever this is. Uh, the soul fire... So what what did I just put down? Oh, an enchantment table. Enchantment table. So if you want to light your house with enchantment tables, yeah, here you go. An ender chest also produces light, which is pretty interesting. And you can, it's, it's a little easier to see it ends right here with the respawn anchor too. So we will put ender chest. Get rid of that. We have a redstone lamp, so I need to actually replace the... Why did I... Okay, well, you know what, whatever. It'll just be a block of redstone from now on. Okay, so... Lantern goes... To the max, it appears. Yep, the max. So, okay, that's gonna bother me. We need a redstone lamp. Lamo, A red... Stone and <laughs> lamp spelling is annoying. Okay. And a sea lantern. Sea lantern, let's see. Okay, sea lantern's also at the max level. Sea lantern. And now we have lava because, yeah, lava is cool. Lava also appears to go to the max, I think. Let's just make sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So we'll do la lava. So if you want to light your house with lava, there's it's the, there's the max level for you. Okay, a beacon produces light. Does a beacon with on top of a I'm not going to test it because I'm lazy. If a be if a activated beacon activates thing or makes light more I don't know, but we will see that the radius is about here next to the torch. I am fairly certain that that is where it is, yep. So a beacon, which I, I, I would expect to have one of the best light sources, but I guess not. A conduit. How does a conduit have so much light in it? I have no idea, but we're going to put a sign. Wait, it has more than the beacon? It has more than the beacon. Well, that's interesting conduit and that that's pretty cool okay we're gonna put these away because again organization it, it's pretty cool why do I have oh because I took that out with me anyway and now we're gonna take our last few items out to test a ro uh, an end rod um, let's see how far that goes that goes to it looks like up here with whatever these are the beacon and stuff the end rod. So that's pretty cool. A redstone 
I knew this would happen. I knew I would have a problem with that. Where's the gold block right here? Man, everything has to be so complicated sometimes. And now all the trap doors have activated. Well, that's just that that's that's fine. Okay. This radius you can see ends about here. So with these things, so we need a redstone torch. Which is pretty low light level. Is it? Let me just see where it, where it is. Redstone torch. Okay, it's not as good as the soul torch. I, just, I don't know. I just wanted to check that. A shroom light. Very... Oh, it's the max level. You can already see. Shroom light. L light. Once again, spelling is hard. Okay. A jack-o'-lantern produces light. It has the max, I believe. Man, everything's so jack-o'-lantern. I don't care if there's no apostrophe or anything. Okay, crying obsidian. Low light level, but still produces light, which is pretty cool. This is an interesting block. I haven't really used it yet, but I think I might want to try. I just don't know what I would use it for yet. That appears to go up here with the sea pickle. So this is the crying obsidian. I don't, does normal obsidian did I forget that did, does normal obsidian emit light does it no it doesn't I don't know why I thought that I just I did okay so is that it is that everything let me know down in the comments if I missed something because that would be sad and also I know that I'm aware that nether portals also produce light but I would rather just not even bother with producing another portal right now and i mean i don't think it's that much light so there it's not much light if you were wondering so we're just going to take a quick look down these signs i'm actually going to turn it to daytime so to daytime so that you can actually get a better look at these and just see which so we're going from lowest light level to highest light level and radius so if you want to use some some of these in whatever building you're building or your house or who even knows. Uh, but we're just going to go down and there are all of them, I'm pretty sure. Again, these are very close estimates if they are even wrong. And so yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed another Minecraft tutorial slash informational video. I think it's pretty interesting how all these have different light levels, and some of them are, like, really special. Like, what is this one? The furnace has its, like, own special one, once again, unless I'm wrong, which hopefully I'm not, but, you know, who knows. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching this video, and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, or if you learned something, let me know in the comments if I missed anything, or what you'd like to see next regarding tutorials, or like informational videos like this and thank you again i'll see you in the next video bye